Willie D. Live. But I was I was chosen as one of the ones that was going to be um, on Def Comedy Jam. But Robin Harris was supposed to be the first host. Yeah, and yeah. and then uh, Martin got the got got the job, and uh-huh. you came in after Martin. You took right. over. You took. I mean, you done this. You had already done this before when you took over for uh, Robin, Robin Harris. Harris. Yeah. yeah. You know, on a big stage, even though, mm-hmm. you know, we're talking about 300 people, we're talking about the Comedy Act Theater. Yeah, that was... we talking about... That was the hardest. The epic Center at that time, the, epi- ep- the Epic Center at that time oh, yeah. for, for comedy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. That was a big deal. Like, w- did you feel any type of, uh, uh, I guess, intimidation at all about doing doing... Doing that? Uh, no, Robin Harris taking over from who? From Robin Harris yeah. or from? Um, no, Robin Harris is our. We, you know, the year that I knew him, a little over a year that I knew him, I got there in March of '89. He died in March of '90. Um, took me in. We just clicked right away, man. Um, bought me my first pair of hundred dollars shoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wore the shit out of the shoes. <laughs> he used to come pick me up. What? Y'all first, when you first met him, mm. y- you, were, oh. you were heckling him, right? Heckling. I tried to heckle you, him. You, you heckled Robin Harris. I didn't know like, who he was. One I didn't know of the greatest was, rank no. I didn't know comedians of all time. I, I just got to L.A. <laughs> I'm the coldest ranking from where I come from. Who was this fat dude? And he was pop, 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 pop. Man, he shot me down, man. <laughs> shot me down. I felt like I was this small, like Fred Flintstone, a little seat. And he ran me up out of there and put the light on me, man. And then the whole table was mad because then he started messing with the table. And they were like, we, yeah, we do. You know? <laughs> it was like, get him out of here. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, I wouldn't try that. I don't ever try that to get him. So I was like, but then Robin Harris and Ronaldo Ray used to take me around and put me up on stage, the hardest spots in L.A., and then heckle me. And I was like, I, my mentors, I used to be like, man, why are y'all heckling me? The first time they did it, what was your response? I didn't know how to take it because I usually talk about people, but I was like, and they were just killing me, both of them, whap, whap, whap. So after about the second, third time they did that, I mean, I lit into both of them. <laughs> Robin was mad. You was ready. Oh, yeah, because I was like, <laughs> you know what, teacher? <laughs> I'm hitting back this time. And yeah. I got a couple good shots in. And I said some stuff, you know. And, he was, and Ronaldo <laughs> laughed because it was, you know, but, but Robin was mad at me for a while. And he was like, he said, no, you, you did what you're supposed to do. Don't let nobody drive you off that stage. These were, and these were ghetto places like in L.A. Yeah. These were no comedy club. This was like juke joint bands and they doing comedy on Wednesday night. <laughs> and, you you know, you got to get in there before that window. You know what I'm saying? They doing a, a break. So you got 40 minutes to get up there and Robin's going to mess around for 10 minutes. And, and people just want to see the band. It's loud. People going up. Man, they, man, they used to, I had somebody they throw some change at me. Get off stage. I'm throwing you money. Get off stage. I was like... <laughs> Hit me in the face with it, dude. <laughs> Get off! Is that for being funny? No, nah, man. We want the band back. I was like, <laughs> what the hell? I was like, hey, wow. Yeah, man. That was that was that was L.A. comedy at first. Red Onion. Oh man, you be Robin had he had to walk me to my car one time with a pistol. Gang bangers joning on you. So when I got the best of them, they want to fight and shoot me outside. <laughs> I was like, I'll fight all three of y'all. And it's like, there's three more coming. Oh, it's <laughs> six of y'all. <laughs> And, and so Robin, yeah. oh, he, Robin. Was, he was getting you ready. That's yeah. when he was heckling you. Heckling me. He was getting you ready. Yeah. For what you, he was getting you ready for those those spots, those hood yeah. spots. Hood spots. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, um, I'd seen him go up and do the comedy store behind Andrew Dice Clay. When Dice Clay is his, you know, standing out, Dice Clay was the man. And they tried to put Robin up after him, like, you know, like, you know, I follow that. White people, everybody leaving. Robin would make them all. Yeah, man, he would sit them right back down and do his act. Like he was at that, that, but he would, you know, it was like, okay, he's comedy act, but he knew it was a different audience. So he hit him with whap, whap, the same jokes, but hit him with it, hit him with it with a different way and blap, blap. And they was, man, it was like, whoa, dude, this dude is, that dude, man. (laughs) If you didn't get to see him, you didn't get to see him work, man, you missed, you missed a master class. Yeah. I said that he was getting you ready for those hood spots because the hood spots are the hardest yeah. places to ever perform. Yeah. Point blank, period. Some of these other places you can go to and people come to actually have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> they're coming to laugh. Yes. Like they want to laugh. Right. They're they're looking for they don't they they'll laugh without any alcohol. Yeah. You go to some of these hood spots. 
They are coming to be impressed. Yeah, yeah you're right. There. That's the word. Impress me. <laughs> what you got? I already heard it. You <laughs> said that last week. Some of the best comedy that I've ever seen in my life was in L.A., in the L.A. area. It was mm. actually Long Beach at Birdland. Oh, that Birdland West. I used to go to Birdland West. Oh, my God. Anytime that I was in the city when I wasn't working, when we wasn't on the road. Was T.K. hosting back then or D.L.? D.L. was hosting. D.L. was hosting. Yeah, it took over for TK. Yeah, T- okay, yeah. I would go to Birdland, bro. Yeah. I would get, listen to what I'm saying. I live in Houston. I know. But I'm flying to L.A. To Long Beach. To Long Beach, <laughs> to go to Long Beach just to watch comedy. Wow. Oh, I'm a comedy connoisseur, okay, Potty. Right, okay. I, 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 saw the, I, I saw the early, the first in the workings, D.L. jokes and the, yeah. the Jamie Foxx jokes. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, I yeah. saw all of that stuff, yeah, yeah. you know, early on, yeah. you know. I think I may have seen you up there at Birdland before. You may, you may have. I can't. I, I used to come through there. I never yeah. really hosted. I used to come to these specials. My man Sanders, Greg Sanders used you to come up there. Yeah, Greg Sanders. Yeah. Wrap it up. up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in fact, see, Greg, Greg was... Very good friends with my buddy Reggie Johnson, who's a three-time uh, boxing champion right, right, uh, right. in the middleweight and di- in, in light heavyweight division. Right. So he, me, and Reggie used to hang out when we'd go there. Okay. And so that was always the spot. That was we would always end up there. We wouldn't even go anywhere else, man. Yeah. We just like that was like, it. You go to Berlin, you don't need to go nowhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they yeah, they have some cuties in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. Cute as but the did. best. I'm talking about. Listen, man, I I didn't even know that was a such thing as a professional heckler. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, listen, bro. The hecklers at Birdland was so good they could give you five ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I'm talking about back to back to back to back to back. Yeah. So finally, somebody was all right, man. All right, all right. That, you, all right, yeah, go ahead and stop now. Yeah, let's, exactly. let's get let's keep the show going. Yeah. That was some good comedy, man. That's yeah. some of the best days of my life, man. Yeah, but Birdland, Birds, yeah, people miss those, those, those. I, mean, I guess this day and era, miss those kind of clubs that like, that got you right, you know, yeah. gave you longevity to the day. Man, those still fans are still like I got fans that are like you know, seventy, eighty years old, seventy five, still coming to my shows because I've been in the game like almost thirty five years now. So if yeah. they were if they were forty or fifty, then you know what I'm saying, grown folks, they're still fans. Not early, like into the seventies. Some eighties and I'm like, wow. So, so that's good stuff, man. Thirty years, bro. I mean, that's yeah. that's thirty plus years, three decades in the game. Yeah, man. I mean, Bless the me. relationships that you've you've built, you know, the stories that come with those relationships, man. you know, the experiences, <laughs> man. When's the book? Have you done a book yet? It's coming. It's coming. The book is coming. Everybody, we gonna write the book. It's because the trip part yeah. about it is that. Yeah. Not only do you know everybody, everybody know you. And it seemed like to me like like so many people have been touched by you in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's something that people don't know of. And that's because I think you don't really go around telling people, yeah, I did this, yeah, I did this. I did. <laughs> A lot of times people got to say, hey, you know, well, how did you meet, how did you meet this person? Or what happened? Right. Like, oh, yeah, you know, we met like this and da-da-da, you know. That's how it kind of comes out. But, man, you that dude, dog. Like, oh. you that dude, Thank man. You, man. Like, that is, is, your resume is impressive. 